Hello football fans, my name is Vladislav and today we're gonna cover a topic close to my heart again about the greatest Bulgarian footballer Hristo Stoichko. Let me place that here. Just give me a second. Okay, done. So, Hristo Stoichko. Born on 8th of February 1966. He's a former professional footballer who is currently a commentator. A prolific forward, he is regarded as one of the best players of his generation and is widely considered and in my opinion he is the greatest Bulgarian footballer of all time. He was the runner-up for the FIFA World Player of the Year award in 1992 and 1994 and received the Ballon d'Or in 1994. In 2004, Stoichkov was named uh, by Pele in the FIFA 100 list of the world's greatest living players. At club level, Stoichkov spent six years at CSK Sofia, don't confuse it with CSK Moscow, by the way, um, and became a top goal scorer in Europe in 1990, receiving the European Golden Shoe. In 1990, he joined Barcelona, where he earned a Spanish nickname El Pistolero, the gunslinger because of his lethal le left foot and was part of Johan Cruyff's dream team that won four consecutive La Liga titles and a Champions League title. During his time at the club, he formed a lethal strike partnership with Romario. Cruyff, Cruyff was largely instrumental to bring him to Barcelona where he quickly developed into one of the most prolific forwards in the world. I covered Cruyff in a past video, you can check it out, it's great. I covered just a bit, not not uh, really detailed, but you will like it. Stoichkov was a member of the Bulgarian national team that finished fourth at the 1994 FIFA World Cup, which is another video I covered, also very interesting, you should go check it out. He was a top scorer with six goals and received the World Cup Golden Boot. He was ranked the third best player at the World Cup after Romario and Roberto Baggio and received the World Cup Bronze Bowl. Apart from his footballing talent though, he was notable for his own pitch temper. In his playing career he was also nicknamed the Dagger. He was born in the city of Plovdiv and began his uh, club uh, and he began his career at Maritza Plovdiv at age of 11. He then moved to Hebros Harmonly, scoring 14 goals in the third level of Bulgarian football. In early 1985, Stoichkov joined CSK, CSK Moscow. At the beginning of his five-year stay, Stoichkov uh, became involved in a fight dur during the 1985 Bulgaria Cup final, which resulted in an origin original lifelong ban, later reduced to a year suspension. He made his comeback for CSK on 30th of April 1986 in a 3-1 away win over Sliven in a game of Cup of the Soviet Army. On 21st of May, Stoichkov opened the scoring in the final of the tournament against Lokomotiv Sofia, which CSK won 2-0. After his five great years at CSK Sofia, Stoichkov transferred to Barcelona. In his first season with the club, Stoichkov was suspended for two months for stomping on a referee's foot, but he still scored 14 league goals and six more in the European Cup Winners' Cup. He became part of Jochen Cruyff's dream team and helped Barcelona to one of the most successful eras of the club, winning La Liga four years in a row, then the European Cup. During his stay in Barcelona, he became an idol for the club's fans. He and played with tandem, with, in tandem with the great Brazilian Romario in attack. Stoichkov was also known for making sure Romario attended training, se training sessions on time, as the latter often indulged in late night fiestas. <laughs> Bit of uh, nice trivia for you there. Stoichkov was twice named runner up for the FIFA World Player of the Year, as I mentioned before. And, he's later, and in, later in his career, uh, he had a short spell in Italy with Parma, scoring, scoring a total of 7 goals and soon returned to FC Barcelona, where he played until early 98. In April 1998, he signed a two-match contract for Saudi Arabian Cup Al Nasser, helping them win the Asian Cup Winners' Cup. In the semi-final against Copet Duck, he earned a penalty and assisted the winning goal in the final against Suwon Bluings. 
He scored the only goal in the 12th minute. For those two games, the Strichkov received a huge amount back there of 200,000. Inter his international career, as I said, he was the leader of, our, of the Bulgarian national team. He was great. He helped us reach the fourth place of that lovely, lovely one, uh, 1994 World Cup. He, uh, his style of play was, he was quick, creative, tenacious, uh, strong, with a great left foot. Uh, who primarily he was uh, he was a striker in the center. He also played a creative role as an attacking midfielder due to his ability to provide many many great assists for his teammates. He was also often deployed as a supporting striker, uh, forming a little little strike partnership, as I said before, with the great Brazilian Romario at Barcelona. And occasionally he played as a right winger during his time at the club, although he was also capable playing on the left or through the middle. He was very, very versatile. In his early years, he also used to play as a left fullback. A powerful, physically strong and technically gifted player, Stuichkov was known for his explosive acceleration and his dribbling ability at speed, as well as his tendency to take unpredictable, powerful shots at goal. The top goal scorer at the 1994 World Cup, he was also notable at taking free kicks and penalties as well as being a very good crosser and passer of the ball. Manager Dmitry Dimitrov described Stuichkov as one of the greatest players of all time in 2006 and a player who had a winning mentality. In the 2003-2004 season, Stuichkov began started a managing career, serving as a forward coach at Barcelona. After Bulgarian national team manager resigned in the wake of the uh, team first round exit from Euro 2004, the Bulgarian Union named it as a new national team manager on 15 of July. Stuichkov's career, his managing career, was a bit of uh, not very good. He didn't believe in tactics that much. It started with it started poorly with him leading uh, Bulgaria to fail qualification for a 2006 World Cup. He brought his bad temper from his career as a player to the bench. A couple of proven players uh, quit the team due to personal differences with Stuichkov. The most notable scandal um, was on the 5th of September uh, 20, uh, 2005 five against a game in, with Sweden in which he was sent off. The biggest blow to Stuichkov as a manager of the national team of Bulgaria came off on 12th of October 2006 when Stylian Petrov, the captain of the team, announced he would not play for Barcelona so long as Stuichkov was manager. Petrov was the third player and the second captain in two years to leave the team because of differences with Stuichkov. On 17th of March 2007, however, Petrov announced that he had a private conversation with Stuichkov in which they were able to work out their differences. As a result, Petrov would return for the team. He also had several different spells in other clubs, in India, in Vietnam, uh, in the Vietnam national team. He tried some Bulgarian teams, but unfortunately... He didn't perform well and he stopped his career for a commentary. He swapped his managerial career for commentary. So yeah, he has many, many honors. He is the greatest Bulgarian footballer ever. Uh, I should also mention Dimitri Berbatov sometimes. Um, probably make a video on him. I'm, he's not that uh, close. Uh, like uh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of him. I don't know why. I'll probably uh, cover him. And yeah, that's really it. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Peace.